Good afternoon, all you wonderful Walnuts people. It's Thursday the 21st of April, just a week or so after our wonderful meeting in the Market Square. It was great to see so many of you there. If you came, our sincere thanks to you all. We think there were over 350 people there at least. Thank you, first of all, to everyone who turned out. We had at least 350 people, which I felt was absolutely, you know, absolutely sensational on the day. And one of the things we value on this campaign is everyone's support. It does mean a lot to us because it has been a difficult campaign and we are in it for the long haul. It's not going to be over in, say, three to six months' time. Um, ladies and gentlemen and my fellow Orpingtonians, firstly, I want to say thank you, thank you so much for turning out in such numbers today. Um, it's, it's been an absolute uh, pleasure to see so many people and a pleasure to be working with the Nuts to Walnuts campaign team. Uh, they've been absolutely brilliant bringing this together, so thank you very much for bringing this together. It is really just the scale of what is proposed that has led to so many objections. Um, and that's really what I have to say <laughs> for now. It's not been designed for disabled access. When they get round to detailed planning, maybe they'll consider it. Maybe they'll then say, oh, we've had to spend a fortune on disabled access, so we can't do X, Y, and Z. I don't know. This is the big problem. There's just so much unknown about this. They haven't been transparent. Can we now ask you to do the following three things, please? Number one, ensure you vote in the local elections on the 5th of May. There are candidates standing in most of the Orpington and Bromley wards for the three major parties. Two of those parties we know are completely against the Walnut plans. The, uh, the third party, it's not quite so clear. We know that we think that some of the councillors are against it and we think that some of them are for it. So it's not quite so clear. So please vote on the 5th of May. Two. Please keep on submitting the objections. Now, some people may be a bit concerned. If you've done an objection already, it doesn't matter. Please do another one. They've got to make sure it's accessible. Aurelia not doing that. They're breaking equality at law. It's discriminating against disabled people. That is a clear objection you need to put forward. And I've got to say, you can put in more than one objection. Put in 10. Put in 20, but put in loads. And there is no magic number to get us over the line when it comes to objections. We've got over 3,400 so far, and this is giving a message to the council and to the developers that there's a lot more discontent among the residents of Orpington as to what the impact of these proposals will be. So please keep on submitting objections. There are links within our Facebook group and the closing date is the 31st of July, so there's still time. If you forgot something on your original objection, send another one in. Send as many as you like. And the third thing is, can you please uh, respond to the supplementary planning document, which is up on the Bromley site now? There, is some, there are some ex explanations on how to answer the response that, on our Facebook site so have a look at our Facebook site if you want some tips on how to answer. And the other thing I wanted to say really was uh, I felt for a while we needed our own communication channel or a, or a YouTube channel because when we had the event in the public square which which you um, pleased to say has actually got a, a front page mention a new shopper this week so that's I was over the moon with that actually because I did put a lot of work in to to um, inviting people from the media. Unfortunately, on the day we had some no shows. Uh, we had to do it on a Tuesday because of a media request that that didn't quite work out. The next one we do, whenever we do it, we will do it on a Saturday afternoon. And as Steve has said, what we're looking to do is to get another um, event planned for a Saturday this time, when hopefully more people will be, will be able to attend. Thanks to all of you for your continued support. It does, I say, mean an awful lot to us and does keep us going. Thanks, guys. So I think that's enough from me for, for now. So just again to say thank you very much for your support. To, together we can make a difference.